Hi, I'm Val Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good morning. Thank you so very much for joining me on the Val Beebe Show. It's my favorite day. It's Friday. And I've got one of my favorite guests, Bob Guinea. Now, you remember him as the former Bachelor and Bachelorette contestant. Well, he's all settled down. He's got a home, got a life, a wife. And he's here going to give us some Valentine's Day, how to recapture that romance. Bob Guinea, welcome back to the Valder BB Show. Thank you so much, Valder. I love, I love seeing you and love being with you today. Well, you know what? I can't think of anyone to talk about recapturing the romance because you've been through the ringer with that Bachelor and Bachelorette <laughs> uh, on TV. So I think you come so That's well true. qualified to tell us, okay, how do we... How do we wow our loved ones on Valentine's Day? Well, you know, Valder, I think there's some tried and true staples out there. You know, for example, I love, I like to love out loud. And this year, Ooh. sending a bouquet from Teleflora's Valentine's Day lineup, I mean, it is the way to go. It's great whether you're celebrating with a significant other or, you know, a lot of ladies these days do Galentine's Day. But a Teleflora Valentine's bouquet is a perfect gift. They have tons of designs to choose from. We're showing the playfully pink and the moonstruck mercury, which feature a festive mix of pink and red flowers paired with soft green accents. Now, bouquets are handmade. They're delivered to your doorstep, and you're still supporting local because they're delivered by local florists in a keepsake container, ready to enjoy right away. And you can purchase right now at teleflora.com. So flowers still make a big impact. That's been a long time, um, Bob. People have used flowers. And I see you guys out there on social media. I go, I'm going to try to get to at least one question. So hang on. Stay with us. Bob, <laughs> do, you remember, do you recommend, what do you recommend for sweet? Because, you know, Valentine's Day is associated with sweets. Oh, definitely. Well, you know, we have great sweets this year. Actually, one thing I want to tell you about that isn't actually as sweet, uh, but, you know, it's, it's still great to, to, and best to impress with a delicious cocktail that's easy to make. And so this one's not so sweet. You add soda water to the new Smirnoff Zero Sugar Infusions Lemon and Elderflower. It's such an easy way to make a great drink. It's citrus flavor, subtle notes of elderflower, so it makes the perfect romantic dinner, dinner compliment. Zero sugar, so you can have your cake and eat it too. You got your sweets and eat it too. <laughs> For seltzer fans, there's this new Smirnoff Seltzer Core variety pack. It has delicious flavors like lemon lime, black cherry, orange, and berry lemonade. Again, each flavor has zero sugar and only 90 calories, which I love. But when you're talking about some serious sweets, I got something here that I think is really spectacular. It's the, the Frutella Soft Gummies. Now, these are new to the United States from Italy, where they have been delighting European families for over 90 years. Frutella combines the best of both worlds. It's soft, tasty, sweet, indulgent. It's made with real fruit puree. So it's great for kids and adults. My, my little two-year-old was down here gobbling them up just a few minutes ago. They come in two delicious flavors. You got <laughs> strawberry and raspberry and peach and mango. And they come in great little fruit character shapes too. So they're really fun. They're available on Amazon and select Walmart stores. Just delicious though. Honest to goodness, really a great sweet treat. So you have the ability here to have something that's fruity and sweet and something that tastes great, has a sweetness to it, but there's zero sugar. So I think it's a really great way to satisfy some great cravings on Valentine's Day. Especially combined with those beautiful flowers. Okay, so I'm going to take this one from Instagram. They say that, okay, they know that you're probably giving uh, flowers and candies, but what is a special thing that you have done for your wife on Valentine's Day? Well, oh my gosh, you know, we've been together now eight <laughs> years. We were just talking about this last night, actually. And, um, you know, there were a few years in there where I thought, oh, well, maybe she doesn't want to celebrate Valentine's Day. I'm going to I'm going to say this to all the guys out there when your significant other or your spouse says, you know, don't do Valentine's Day. I, it, I don't want to do anything. Don't listen. That is not true. <laughs> that, that is a red herring. That's a set, is it a set up? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's going to set you up, man. Don't do it. So I actually you know, one thing that I always like to do, and, and this has been since we've had our son, but. Um, unbeknownst to my wife, I have a babysitter um, and we're going to, you know, we're just going to go out because, you know, with COVID, especially, we haven't had a chance to really be alone at all. So uh, my mom is going to come over and watch our son and uh, we're going to go and, and we're going to have a, a dinner and a thing called a yurt. Have you heard of these things? It's like a I know what a yurt igloo. is. I follow tiny houses. I know what that is. Yes. Yeah, so we're going to go and we're going to have dinner <laughs> in an igloo. 
just the two of us. And, uh, you know, um, my wife's pregnant right now, so we won't be having any wine, I guess. Maybe I will. Oh, I'll congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, actually, I'll probably bring some of my Smirnoff infusions. That's what I'll be doing. Because that's how, I don't know if you've ever had elderflower, but it's so delicious. Oh my gosh. So thank you. Yeah, we're, uh, you know, we're going to celebrate this year a little bit differently. But I think it just, just the acknowledgement of the fact that you love them and it's a wonderful, you know, it's every day is like Valentine's Day, but let's celebrate today, you know, that kind of a thing. So, but don't take that red herring, fellas. When they say they don't want anything for Valentine's Day, you better have at least a card and some flowers or something or you're going to be in some trouble. Okay, you guys got advice from the former Bachelor and Bachelorette contestant. I'm thinking this is going to be valid, so you guys need to listen up. <laughs> Bob Guinea, it's always wonderful talking to you. Where can my audience go and find this all wrapped up for them online? Thank you, Valder BB. All they have to do is go to dailylounge.com. They can find out all these and great gift ideas there. Well, happy Valentine's Day to you, your wife, and the upcoming baby. I think that's pretty good thank Valentine's you. news on the Valder BB yeah, Show. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands free, pocket free, purse free, even belt free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.